Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Live on location. Live on location <laughs> in my spare bedroom. <laughs> Oh, contending with a flat tire, but that doesn't stop us mm-hmm. from doing the coffee hour this morning. And thank goodness we're not doing a sing along, though. That would that would make it challenging. Oh, that would be. Mm, we tried that once with Rachel Baumberger. Mm, that did not work. I heard that 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 uh, you tried to <laughs> to a sing along on the or a hymn sing on the Lutheran Ladies Lounge, which I think we we'd be remiss if we didn't mention that this morning. Bringing on our guest today, Rachel Baumberger, writer, editor, home educator, Navy chaplain's wife, co-host of the Lutheran Ladies Lounge podcast. Rachel, mm-hmm. thanks for joining us today i sound tired that's a lot (laughs) (laughs) that was a fun list i I was gonna keep adding to it but uh i I stopped oh yeah uh (laughs) let's see (laughs) what else can we add i don't know that's enough to be starting with okay so before we get into rachel's article um give us who wants to give us rachel you want to give us a little bit of a, a rundown of the lutheran ladies lounge and then sarah can chime in on that too Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm really super excited to talk about this new project that Sarah and I are both involved with, along with our good friends, uh, Aaron Alter and, uh, Brianne Gersevsky. Uh, it's a podcast by Lutheran women for Lutheran women, uh, a celebration of, uh, Lutheran culture and sisterhood. And, um, it's just a lot of fun. We, we put out episodes once a week that are about, you know, 20 minutes long, not too much of a commitment, but we explore Lutheran history, Lutheran culture, um, some Lutheran theology, but our focus is really on community building. Um, so, you know, it, it sort of is going in a different direction than some of the other programs, you know, on KFUO. And we just have a real hoot and a half <laughs> putting the show together. <laughs> There's so much laughter. Yes, we do. So much laughter. Yeah, um, it's it's been so fun to do this with Rachel. Um, and the podcasts are all available at uh, kfuo.org slash Lutheran Ladies Lounge. Or if you have a favorite podcast player, um, it should be available on nearly any podcast player as well. And we have a Facebook group, um, the Lutheran we Ladies do. Lounge, of course, on it Facebook. Is, there's so much good conversation that happens there. I it, It's just become my primary source of entertainment, actually. <laughs> It's true. Seeing yeah. what, what people are sharing in the Lutheran Ladies Lounge Facebook group. And there's a reason it's called the Lutheran Ladies Lounge. I listened to <laughs> one episode and realized I shouldn't be there and quickly exited. <laughs> Uh, so it is a, it is it definitely intended to be a podcast for uh, the Lutheran ladies. And as Sarah said, you can find it at kfuo.org. It's it's strictly podcast. Um, it's not because it's just for the Lutheran ladies. It's not out on the air here, but uh, we certainly give you an opportunity to share about it. Uh, oh, hey, you know, Andy, yes. I, I happen to know for a fact we have at least two guys listening. And only <laughs> one of them is Aaron's sure. dad. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Well, kudos to but him. But yeah, it's very female centric. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right. So this uh, this month's issue, uh, the October issue of the Lutheran Witness, uh, being former managing editor of the Lutheran Witness, uh, now invited back to uh, to write in this month's issue uh, with you or with my lost saints is the the title of your article this month. Uh, and you share a very touching personal story in this uh, of your your mother in law and her um, her wrestle with Alzheimer's. What Rachel? What has been your experience with a disease like Alzheimer's before this? Oh, it's you know before this, I, I knew about it. I knew. I mean, my my uh, my mother's mother suffered some from dementia at the end, but you know she was near the end of her life before it before it really hit her. Um, but this journey with my mother-in-law, Brenda, who, by the way, is one of my best friends. I know many um, women, when they talk about their mother-in-laws, there's this tension there. But no, that's never been the case with us, which makes all of this all the more painful. Um, when she was diagnosed with fairly early onset Alzheimer's a few years ago, and we just knew that this journey was going to get harder and harder together, Um so my experience with Alzheimer's has been bad. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> it really, mm-hmm. really is. Um, 
to watch this person who had um and and still has deep deep down inside her but such a lovely lovely lively mind you know she was the one who introduced me to half of my favorite authors um she taught latin at a little classical school she homeschooled her four children she was just curious and wanted to know everything about everything um and so to watch her slip away in slow motion um has been one of the most painful things i've ever done um which is made even harder by the fact that my life has meant that i don't get to see her as much as i would like um so you know a, a good long visit once a year is about all i can expect and so when i went out this year she went on she was put on hospice care um in the spring and so i knew that this less this past summer was going to be um really important but also really hard and it was both of those things to spend two weeks just spending as much time with her as we could but but realizing this is this is not she's already in some way gone from us um and she knows that <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh but it was good because she still she still belongs to christ and she knows that too um and so we still share that we are um, sisters in Christ and can change that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a story that um, is probably very familiar to any number of our listeners is uh, the struggle with Alzheimer's and um, and watching this person that you love just kind of fade away. Um, the the title of your of your article with my lost saints. What what do you mean by the term lost? Okay, Sarah, you know me well. Um, <laughs> and you know that I'm a, I'm a total English nerd. Um, and so mm -hmm. the, the title of the poem is taken from Elizabeth Barrett Browning's famous sonnet, which begins, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. And, you know, this has shown up in like Looney Tunes. So everybody knows those lines. But the rest of the poem goes on. And, you know, Barrett Browning was a, a deeply Christian person who saw poetry as... Um, you know how Luther talks about music being next to theology? <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Browning thought of poetry that way. And so her poetry tends to be really infused with spiritual ideas. And this this sonnet, which she wrote for her husband um, before they were married, is no exception. And there's this, it, it, there's so much beautiful language in this. And then you just sort of trip over this one line in the middle. I love thee with a love I seemed to lose with my lost saints. And I have just, as I mentioned in the article, I've spent a lot of my um, adult life trying to get that line out of my head, <laughs> like a like a song that won't go away. <laughs> and you know, just when I when I lose somebody, so when I talk about lost, I don't mean lost as in like the TV show. <laughs> I don't mean lost, <laughs> and I, I certainly don't mean lost in the grand eternal sense because. Um, a lost saint is not lost to God. God holds them. God keeps them. Um, those of us who are uh, reconciled to God through Christ, um, there's no losing ourselves um, except in him. And so I don't mean lost in that way. I just, I mean it in a really, really selfish way and that she's lost to me. And I'm not happy about that because it's not it's not fun it's not the way it's supposed to be um so yeah it's when i say lost i mean like you know i lost my phone lost <laughs> it's mm -hmm. it's still there but i can't find it and i can't it it, it does me no good <laughs> mm -hmm. um yeah in your article so, you you talk about what is lost but you also talk about what is gained what you've gained from your lost saints what are some of those things oh my, that you've gained? Yeah, no, who I am, I am who I am because of the people who have, who have been in my life, who have mentored me, um, many of whom are now gone. You know, I think about, you know, my, my grandmother, 
one of my grandmothers teaching me how to bake a pumpkin pie from scratch, teaching me how to make fudge. Another one of my grandmothers, I only have two, but <laughs> my other grandmother <laughs> impressing upon me how one must, you know, make a bed, pull the sheets taught, or <laughs> how to pull weeds in the garden and why you should. <laughs> um, you know, these people have taught me the skills, but also given me strength and taught me wisdom and taught me things about God. Um, you know, I remember conversations with, with um, all of my grandparents um, about what, about, about the Lord <laughs> and about what, what their faith had done to sustain them um through their lives i i feel really blessed to have had not and not just my my grandparents by by blood relation you know um but the older people in the church um who have really um supported and encouraged me as i have um you know walked with god through this life so yes um the the saints are the saints to me because they have taught me about Christ. They have taught me how to love um, with Thanks. the love of Christ. And that's just that just never stops being cool. Thanks be to God. We are just about out of time, just like five seconds left, but how many, bo how many boxes of <laughs> tissues did you go through while writing that? Oh, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> they were streaming. They were streaming. Rachel Bob Berger, thank you so much for joining us today on The Coffee Hour. Thank you. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. <laughs> Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere. Oh,